Hi guys, so let's look at his next question here. Uh, again, a fantastic question. So basically, you should uh, at first when you see this question, you will get confused at how to approach basically, right? So most of you will get confused in this. So let's see how to approach such kind of question. Okay. So first of all, we attack the higher powers here. What we do, we attack all the higher power. For for example, we have got x raised to 32 minus 1. Okay. Now how we can solve it? So now see guys. So basically, x raised to 32 minus 1. We can write like this, no? We can write x raised to 16 plus 1 into x raised to 16 minus 1. Okay. Now that is equal to a plus b into a minus b, right? So similarly, I can write here. So basically, if uh, I solve it, I'll write here x square minus 1 whole cube, x4 minus 1 whole cube, x8 minus 1 whole cube, x16 minus 1 whole cube. Now x32 can be written like that, right, 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 uh, right uh, like this, okay. So x raised to 16 plus 1 whole cube into x raised to 16 minus 1 whole cube. That is greater than 0. Now it's uh, very easy to uh, identify that x raised to x plus 1, this is always, this is, this is always positive, okay. So this term basically is always positive. It is always what? Positive because x raised to 16 is even power. So x power 16 is even power always positive. Yeah, no? That was always positive or you can write here positive or greater than equal to zero I can write. But if I add one, it becomes always positive, right? So this, I can directly divide that across the inequality. And what I'm left after that now, x square minus one whole cube, x raised to four minus one whole cube, x raised to eight minus one whole cube. And I can just uh, merge these two here. So x raised to 16 minus 1, 3 and 3 will become 6. So x raised to 16 minus 1. So x raised to 16 minus 1, uh, 6 is greater than 0. Now similarly, that x raised to 16, I can write now same way. What I can do is x raised to 16, I can write like, uh, sorry, x raised to 16 minus 1. I can write like x raised to 8 plus 1 into x raised to 8 minus 1. Okay. So again, uh, let's solve this. So I'll write here x square minus 1 whole cube, x raised to 4 minus 1 whole cube. Now x raised to 8 minus 1 whole cube. And now this, this I can break like x raised to 16 is x raised to 8 plus 1 and x raised to 8 minus 1, power being 6 here. Okay, it's greater than 0. Again, same funda guys. This is again positive. This is always positive because x raised to 8 is even and any even power or x raised to 8 is always greater than equal to 0. So x raised to 8 is also greater than equal to 0. It can never be negative. Even power can never be negative. And if you add 1 here, it becomes always positive. So that means x raised to 8 plus 1 is always positive. So again, you can divide that across the inequality and let's combine the other two. We can combine these two. Now it further shortens to x square minus 1 whole cube into x raised to 4 minus 1 whole cube. And this combines to x8 and x8 is x8 minus 1 raised to 3 and 6 becomes 9. So I hope all of you got that funda. So what we're doing here, right? So again, what we'll be doing now? So x square minus 1 whole cube. Okay, this is always positive. So what I'll do now? Now x raised to 4 minus 1 whole cube. x raised to 8 will be x raised to 4 plus 1 into x raised to 4 minus 1 power 9 and 9 again this becomes positive because it is uh, all x raised to 4 plus 1 is always positive okay so this becomes positive here so this is always positive i can just uh, take across the inequality divide by 0 by positive number is 0 so i'll be left with x square minus 1 whole cube now i can combine these two so power 3 and power 9 will become power 12 so x raised to 4 minus 1 power 12 that is positive. Now again I can break that x square minus 1 whole cube. Now x4 minus 12 is basically what? That is x raised to 4 minus 1 uh, is um, what I can say. Um, this is x square minus 1 into x square plus 1 In, and positive. So again x square plus 1 is always positive. Again this will get always positive so that means 0 by this will become 0. So what I'm left with ultimately x square minus 1 cube and 12. So x square minus 1 raised to 15. Okay. So x square minus 1 
raised to 15 is positive. So what I can say now is x square minus 1 raised to power 15 is positive. So obviously x square minus 1 has to be positive. Okay. So it's for odd power, right? It's always should be positive. Okay. So now if x square minus 1 is positive, x square is greater than 1. If I square root both sides, so what I'll be getting? I'll be getting mod of x is greater than 1. So mod of x is greater than 1 means x is greater than 1 or x is less than minus 1. So my question was mod of x is less than 50. That means I need to choose between values. Mod x is less than 50. That is if mod x is less than 50, it means that x is in between 50 and minus 50. So what values will satisfy here? So I can say that uh, the values it, which it can uh, x can take is it can start from x is less than minus 1. So minus 49, minus 48, minus 47 till minus 2 because x is less than minus 1 and now x is greater than 1, right? So after that it can take then 2, then 3, then 4 until 49. So th these are the 48 values here. So 48 values here and 48 values here. So total 96 values. That is the answer for this question. So I hope all of you got this right. So that's the complete funda behind such question. Okay, so I hope uh, every, th every concept is clear. Thank you. And also guys, so any of you are looking to join uh, any classes for the last five, six months of your preparation. So we have got everything covered at an academy. Uh, I have been working a lot on these projects of building e notes, especially that is e notes now will be available for plus and iconic people. It is going to be launched next month only. So all the modules will be launched in next one month and it contains some good high quality questions, complete theory, lot of solved examples. So basically it is my project only. I'm working on that and uh, there's no book needed if you join uh, join classes apart from that there are 25,000 plus questions in the app okay so in the app and website so you need it no need to practice from anywhere else we are now giving 50 plus full length mocks in that around 30 there, there will be 30 cat mocks working on these projects guys okay also there will be physical notes available for the iconic people okay but all the notes are available in the e new format e view format for all the plus and iconic people so i've been sharing a lot of these posts at uh, all the whatsapp chats uh, or uh, the pe uh, people uh, the students feedback on my facebook groups on community post in rodha so around 90 uh, 6, 98 plus percentile around 64 people have scored 90, 90 plus percentile out of that around 36 people have got 99 plus percentile so every lot of means there are some uh, in IMA there are four, four students going this year in IMB already five are studying four more are sorry seven are studying four more are going so all these great results we are putting a lot of effort so if you feel that your preparation is uh, not on the right track and you need a good guidance good mentorship you can join this if your preparation is on the right track then you don't need to join any coaching you can just follow the mocks and uh, uh, my free classes are an academy so i take a lot of free classes also a lot of practice sessions i take in high and those are high quality classes so those that you can take that call you can take actually uh, based on your need okay so if you avail to this uh, if you wish to avail to the subscriptions you can use my referral code ravi roda so any any link you can uh, any link you can click and you can go for subscription uh, my 3000 quant questions are available there lot of high quality questions with all the courses from basic to advanced all the recordings are also there i take daily life classes also plus 700 lrdi sets are there till now and all these are in recording forms because all the life class which what, what i've taken all the into recording forms so a lot of people are con covering these classes at 1.5x and uh, they are clearing all these exams right so if you wish to avail it so you can avail otherwise just you can take mocks also mocks and then you can go for uh, free classes that is extra practice classes i take right so based on your need you can just follow it okay thank you